Hi, welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover basics of Java. This session is specially designed for manual testers who are looking for opportunity in the automation testing. In this session, we are going to cover very basic part of the Java, like what is Eclipse, project, packages, how to create class, variable, constants, method, constructor, and how to access the method by using objects. We are going to use Eclipse to write Java code. So I'm moving to the Eclipse. Eclipse can be defined as a software or ID which provide the functionality to write code, Java code, debug it, and execute it. I'm going to the file and first we are creating the project in Eclipse. So I have created a Java project. I'm giving the name of the project is like Java Automation. Click on the finish. Our project is created here in the package explorer. Here we can see that we have an SRC folder. SRC folder means the place where we are going to write code. We can directly create classes over here, but as a good practice, first we need to create the package. Package are mainly used for uh, maintenance of the multiple test cases like we can have hundreds of test cases we can divide uh, these test cases into the different packages uh, detail of the packages we will cover in the later sections so I'm creating a package package name always starts with small letter so I'm creating a package with like test cases now I have a project and a package I'm moving to I'm creating a class now. I'm going to the package right click on it. I'm creating a class We can give any name of the class like I'm giving the testing So a project is created package is created and now a class is created So where here we can see that once we create a class a Java file is created and We are getting some default code in this Java file whatever the code we want to write in Java must be inside this class boundary. So we are going to go. We are going to write our code inside this boundary. First, uh, we are going to cover a variable. So variables are used to hold some data. Value of the variable can be changed. We can create variable as similar to as we are doing in a C programming. So first, we write the data type and the variable name. We can create constant in the same way like in j i have created a variable but if i may uh, want to make it as a constant then we can use the final keyword final is a keyword in java with the help of which we can define a constant so now i have a variable and one is constant the next thing that we are going to create it's a method so it's quite similar to uh, uh, the syntax that we are having in C like void hello whatever the name of the method you want to give and the body of the method in Java we are writing public private protected access modifier in front of each of the method because that's a starting session we are just creating a public method in the later session we are going to cover what are the different access modifier like public protected and default and others so right now I have a public method named hello as we are using uh, as we have worked on the c so in c we are using the printf to print something on the console here we have the command system.out.println at the start we are not very much comfortable in the syntax of java so i'm going to use the shortcut syso and just control space it will generate a complete syntax so i'm writing like hello method I have saved this file and try to execute it. And as I have executed, it's asking for the Java application. Yes, I'm executing it as a Java application. But it's giving me the error like selection does not contain a main tag. Yes. 
as we have worked on the C, C++, C Sharp or in Java. In all the languages, we are required to create a main method. Name can be defined as a starting point of my project. So here again, we need to create a main method. I'm creating a main because the syntax over here is uh, the main syntax uh, is public static void main. But again, as is at the start, uh, you know, we don't have much idea about the syntax. So again, we are using the uh, shortcut for that. I'm writing main control space. It will generate the complete main method. Whatever we are going to write in main that will be executed. Like I have mentioned system.out.println. This is main method. Only this section will be executed. So I'm executing it again. That is my starting point and only this section is executed. But in my case, I want to execute this hello method. So now the thumb rule is that whenever we want to execute any of the method outside the main, first we need to check from which class this method belongs to. So this hello method belongs to the testing class. We need to create the object of this testing class. So to create the object, just a class name, object name, new, class name. Now to call the method, that's object name dot method name. I have saved the code and executed it. So here we can see that the main is executed. So first the system.out.println is executed and then it's creating the object and calling this hello method. So we have seen that we can call any of the method just by creating the object. Create an object, it's a simple syntax, just class name, object name, new, class name. Now I'm moving to constructors. So a class can have variable, constants, method and constructor. So we have seen variable, we have seen constant, we have seen method. Now I'm coming to the constructor. In constructor, we are, again I'm creating a public constructor, public constructor name is always same as the class name. So constructor can defined as can be defined as a quite similar to the method. The difference is that constructor name is always same as the class name. Constructor never return a value, so we need not to write void in front of the name of the constructor. Whatever the code you want to write we can write inside the body of the constructor. So I mentioned that this is constructor. Here again, I'm removing this code, just keeping the object creation code. So now we can see that we are just creating the object. We are not calling any method. I just executed that and constructor is executing means Constructor is automatically called when the object is created. So here we have seen constructor can be defined as a similar type of uh, similar to the method. Constructor name is always same as the class name. Constructor never return a value. That's why we don't mention any return type, not even void. And constructors are automatically called when the object is created. So now uh, in the complete session we have seen like what is object, what is method constructor variable constants and whenever we are going to work first we need to create a project java project then we are going for packages then class and everything that we are going to write will be inside this class body the last thing that i'm going to tell you that i'm removing main from here in complete project we can have main on one place only so i'm creating a one more class and giving the name my main so I have created a one more class with the name my main and here I'm quoting a main method so in project I have one main only in a my main class now I want to execute the method of this testing class the method name is hello for that I'm quoting the object of the class testing obj1 is equal to new testing and calling this method just by obj1 dot hello so we will find out that the particular method will be executed
So we have seen that whenever when we create the object, the constructor is called, and now we are calling the method. So we have seen that we have created a main main method in a different class, and still able to call any method just by creating the object. So that's all I have for this session. In this session, we just covered the basic part of the Java. Thanks for listening.